guys, here we go. We have a map right here. If you are at home, this map is attached to the assignment, so you can print it out. So you'll want to stop this video right now if you need to and print this map out. If you cannot print from home, that's okay. You're going to want to make sure, though, that you still watch this video and that you write it like you see it. Okay? So you'll see we have New England, Middle, and Southern colonies, and you see this map here. At home, if you're not able to print, you're going to want to copy down what we're going to do here in your notebook. And then even the map, you're going to want to try to do your best to either draw it or what I've done before is I've taken my Chromebook and I've made this the picture and then I stuck my paper on top of it, my blank sheet of paper, my notebook paper, and I was able to trace it from there. So here we go. This map right here is one of the few maps that we're going to get throughout the year. It is our 13 English colonies map. And you can see that it is divided into three sections. We have the New England, Middle, and Southern. Because when we talk about the 13 English colonies, we're going to talk about them in regions. Because these regions each have things in common. The other thing that we're going to learn, in order to memorize these colonies and where they are located at, we have a mnemonic phrase. A mnemonic phrase is a memory technique to make things a lot easier to remember. So here we go. We're going to start with the New England colonies. In order to remember the New England colonies, our mnemonic phrase is going to be my new hamster runs in cages. My new hamster runs in cages. That right there, if I can memorize that phrase, I'm going to easily be able to remember my colonies because those starting letters are the same starting letters for each of my colonies, as you can see in my chart. So here we go. The my is going to be the colony of Massachusetts. The abbreviation for Massachusetts is going to be MA. Why do we want the abbreviation? Because when I put it on the map, writing out Massachusetts can be really long. Now, Massachusetts is kind of weird when it starts as a colony because it actually covers two areas. These two areas, MA, that big area that you guys right now would go, but that's Maine. Maine's not created yet. It's right here and right here. Both of them are Massachusetts. We got my new hamster. Well, that's easy to remember. That's new Hampshire. And the abbreviation for New Hampshire, NH. New Hampshire is going to be right here. It's going to cover that piece of land. My New Hampshire runs in, the RI is Rhode Island. And so the abbreviation for that is going to be R-I. Rhode Island is a little bitty spot right there. See that little bitty spot? That is Rhode Island. Cages is going to be Connecticut. And so we have Connecticut right there. The abbreviation is C-T. Connecticut is this square looking one right here. And so I'm going to fill it in. Now, before I move on to the next region, we're going to shade it in on our map. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shade in my circle first. Here's my New England colonies. And on my map, I'm going to go ahead and shade in these areas. 
And so even on my map, if I think about my mnemonic phrase, I can see how I'm placing them in order. My new hamster runs in cages, okay? Starting at the top, working our way down. That's our New England colonies. I'm gonna add one more thing. Remember, it's all about colonization. And so in that colonization, the reasons to colonize, the reasons they came over, anytime I see New England colonies, whatever it's on, the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything is I'm gonna draw a cross. That right there tells me the New England colonies are all about religion and the Puritans and being able to live there to freely practice their religion, their Puritan religion. Now, we're going to talk about how they didn't want anybody else, no other religions, just their Puritan religion. And so we have the religious symbol right there. All right, let's move on to the middle colonies that are sometimes called the mid-Atlantic. Okay, we do need to know them as both. Middle colonies, mid-Atlantic. We have a mnemonic phrase right here, and so we're going to write that down. Our mnemonic phrase is New York police need jelly donuts. New York police need jelly donuts. That's my mnemonic phrase. It's going to help me remember the colonies that are there. What are the colonies? We have the colony of New York. That's an easy one. NY is the abbreviation. On my map, here is my New York. New York police, the P is Pennsylvania. The abbreviation for Pennsylvania is PA. Pennsylvania is right here. We're going to talk about Pennsylvania a lot this year because that's where our freedom was born. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, all written there. New York police need jelly. That is New Jersey. New Jersey. And so that is going to be NJ, New Jersey. And so on our map, New Jersey is right there. Okay, so we got that in there. M New York police need jelly donuts. That is going to be Delaware. Okay, and Delaware abbreviation is D-E, right there. On my map, Delaware, it's kind of weird. It's, it's right there next to New Jersey. It's real, it's real small. Okay, see it right there? It's, it's super small. D-E is going to be my Delaware. Middle colonies, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shade it in. So I'm going to take my colored pencil. If you got crayons, that's great. Okay, we're going to shade in right here. And make sure, make sure when you shade in on the map, you don't shade too dark because you don't want to co cover up that color that you already have in there. Especially if you're using a pencil. Sometimes kids will get on and they'll color it too dark and we can't see what is going to be under there. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in my middle colonies right here. So I got New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and then of course, little bitty Delaware, right there, okay? Before we move on, middle colonies, reasons to colonize. They're gonna become known as the breadbasket colonies, so we're gonna add a money sign. They export so much grain that they earn that nickname. They're also going to be social, okay? Because the middle colonies are gonna get the Quakers. They are a religious group that's gonna come to the middle colonies, specifically Pennsylvania. It's founded by a man named William Penn, Pennsylvania. That won't be hard to remember at all. William Penn, Pennsylvania. And they're tolerant of other people. They like other people. So they say, come, anybody who wants to come. So we say social there. They're going to have lots of other people. They're going to have a huge mix. All right, our last one is going to be the southern colonies. 
In order to remember the southern colonies, we have a mnemonic phrase right here. We're going to say, my very nice cousin sends Christmas gifts. My very nice cousin sends Christmas gifts. That's going to help us remember our southern colonies because the my is going to be none other than Maryland. Okay, Maryland founded for the Catholics. Very is, oh, sorry, Maryland, the abbreviation is going to be MD. Very is going to be the colony of Virginia. Virginia. That's the very first colony. That's going to be V-A. My very nice cousin, nice cousin is North Carolina, which is going to be N-C. Sends Christmas, that is going to be South Carolina, S-C. My very nice cousin sends Christmas gifts. That is going to be none other than Georgia. And so that is going to be G A. And so here we go. We're going to shade. Oh, we're going to label it. I'm sorry. I didn't stop and label as we went through. Maryland is right up here. So we're going to label M D. Okay. Covers this area and this area here. They're both Maryland. There is some water that comes up in here um, that separates it, but it is connected right up there. Maryland, then we have Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And they go in order. Look how easy that is to remember. My very nice cousin sends Christmas gifts. Super easy to remember for us. Let's go ahead. I'm going to grab my colored pencil. I did green. Um, the reason I did green for the South, you could do any color, but I like green for the South because it's all about the cash crops. It's growing stuff. It's money, money, money. All right. So I'm going to color in my Maryland. I'm going to shade it in. Notice I'm not a super exact color. That's okay. Color -er. Is that a noun? All right. Maryland, Virginia. Go ahead and shade in Virginia. North Carolina, shade in your North Carolina. Go ahead, get it in, get it in. There we go, shade, shade, shade. South Carolina, we're going to get to talk about that a lot when we talk about the Civil War in South Carolina. And then, of course, Georgia. We're going to color that in right there. All right, Southern Colonies, how am I going to remember them? Anytime I see the southern colonies, I'm going to add the economic symbol because it is the cash crops. But, but, there is a but. Hold on. There's one colony within here that is going to be about religion. It is going to be founded for a religious group because they need freedom of religion. And that's going to be the colony of Maryland. So I'm going to go ahead and add a cross right there. It's the Catholics. They're being persecuted. They come to the Americas for that freedom of religion. And then we're going to skip down and we're going to look at Georgia. And the reason Georgia comes, the reason Georgia becomes a colony is the debtors, debtors, people who are in debt, they owe money, are going to be brought into Georgia and offered farms. And if you can work those farms, you can pay off your money and pay us back, and then you could live in Georgia. And so here we go, we have our 13 colonies map right here, you can see it. And so we're ready, I'm gonna be able to put it in my notebook, so I'm gonna actually, you could cut it, or I just like to fold it. And on the outside of my paper, I'm gonna go ahead and label it as the 13 English colonies. The 13 English colonies right there. I'm going to get my notebook and I'm going to glue it right inside so that I will have it forever, forever, ever, 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 and I will not lose it. So I'm going to go to my next blank page. 
I'm going to take my map, put a little bit of glue on the back, just a little bit, a little bit of glue goes a long way, and I'm going to glue it right inside of my notebook. Make sure you memorize those mnemonic phrases. They're going to come in very handy when you get your map test over this.